Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS video. So I will talk about Lunet and a 7 stars preview. So let's begin from Lunet. So Lunet STMR is a cloud. It has very high attack stats, 45 attack. So this is gold for a double hander character. I believe this cloud will be equipped by well double hander after 7 stars come to the global. And yeah, just imagine this, okay, you manage to reach 300% equipment attack boost. That means you get 135 attack simply by equip this. So very, very good. Congratulations if you have four Lunet right now, okay. The defense and spirit may be very low, but again, you shouldn't equip this on your tanker. So I think it's fine. Also, you get nice 30% fire, water, wind, and earth resist. Very nice, but maybe not that needed. So for his trust ability, okay, it gives him additional 20% additional attack, defense, and health. It may sound low, okay, 20% like me get 80%. Actually, no. Remember that six stars awaken Lunet get 130% attack. So with this, he has a total of. 150% attack boost and like I have mentioned on previous 7 stars preview video that 150% attack are the common number you get on 7 stars attacker so yeah pretty good it also improve his limit burst okay so it will imperil fire water wind and earth resist definitely a nice boost here okay it also recover his MP to full I don't think this is that needed though because yeah his abilities don't cost that much MP but still nice thing to have without trust ability his LB I think it is not that good okay it deals 13.5 times damage remember that Lunet is dual wielder so yeah awaken cut through deal 7 damage per hit so that means by dual wield you deal 14 damage so basically this lb deal less damage than normal cut through but again you get 74 percent defense break which is very very useful now for his seven stars abilities at level 105 he gets another finisher skill it deals four times damage but it is stacking ability so you will get two times damage increase per use and yeah, you max it at 10 times damage. So basically with dual wield, you deal 20 times damage per turn. Yes, that's insane. But I think it may be a little bit hard to land these attacks because this is a moving type and it has multiple hits. Okay, so maybe if you use, uh, let's say like tornado chaining, you won't have any problem. But if you only use yeah, maybe single Defined Ruination, then you probably have a problem on landing all these hits, okay? But still, very good potential, okay? It has very good potential, depends on how you can use it, okay? At level 110, he gets a cooldown skill. So this cooldown skill is bad, but good at the same time. Why it is bad? Because basically, it is a chaining skill. But I believe that you cannot chain this skill. I'm not sure, okay, actually I'm not sure. But yeah, I think you cannot chain this skill with anyone. But if you have, mm, let's say, yeah, two, let's say you have four lunet, okay, you make two seven stars lunet, then basically you just get one of the best chaining skills in the game, okay. So just, Take a look on Felix Santoso video, okay? He has a video about this. The chaining has really long window time, okay? So I believe you can insert any finisher you want on the chaining process, but because you probably only can chain this with duplicate, then this is useless on 10 man battles. But still, pretty good, okay? But remember, this is cooldown skill, so you cannot use this every turn and this is not available on the first turn so maybe not that good on raid battle okay so at level 115 
he gets 20% spirit not that good okay it is just random stats i believe okay and on the maximum level like other dual wielder attackers on seven stars he gets 30% attack from equipment when dual wielding so it is true dual wield okay a new thing he gets it so very good and yeah he gained two lb regain per turn so yeah his lb may be quite nice because that defense and elemental imperil okay so pretty nice characters but to make him rich potential you really need to have a friend who has lunette or bring your second lunette okay so yep i think pretty good no need to be salty he is definitely not a troll on seven stars form so let's talk about the second character seven stars ace so his stmr is throwing weapon it has good magic okay 169 but i think this weapon is very niche like you know that mage usually equip road okay so yeah some mage able to equip throwing weapon but that means you won't be able to take the advantage of your road mastery dark bone and other magic boosting abilities so yeah this your this can work for some characters for example light fairy ties and also you will learn later that you need throwing weapon to max out ace okay so his trust ability he gets 50 percent magic and yeah that's definitely good and it enhances his lb so it breaks enemy spirit so definitely a good thing too okay but the most important update is the increased damage to your tri tri-beam laser so normal awaken tri-beam laser plus two okay tri-beam laser plus two uh, has yeah the lowest damage is 2.8 times okay so with this you will deal 9.3 times damage so pretty nice especially it also break the elemental resist so yeah it is very good ability but again i don't think he is that good on seven stars you will learn that later so his normal lb it is basically only single target yeah without his trust ability i don't think this lb were to be used because like you can see that it only deals 16 times damage yes that's nice i know okay because his tribeam tri laser not affected by dual build but again he is not that good compared to other seven stars mages so for his abilities let me be honest here i don't like it at all on the level 105 he gets another random ability okay so it gives you damage mitigation and defense and spirit buff but i think the highest the highest chance gives you 20 percent damage mitigation and that's below average 20% and only 80% defense and spirit okay so I don't think that's good okay I know that it can give you 40% damage mitigation which is higher than average but that's only 10% so I doubt it will happen okay so it's kind of like um, Oran but I think Oran nameless song is much much better because it has a chance to give you uh, auto life buff also why they need to be so stingy with the change cannot they make the chance uh, become 33 33 and 33 percent because really guys it won't make him op or anything imbalanced on this game okay with this buff you can still die pretty easily on hard metal but really with this by making the chance only 10 percent for the highest buff make him really kind of broken in my opinion so i don't like it i'm not a fan of seven stars eight and his cooldown skill learned at level 110 is also rubbish okay so it gives stop but it's not clear who's gonna get the stop maybe ace himself or the enemy but even the enemy who gets the stop it's also useless because most hard enemies are resist against stop so you can ignore this 30 percent chance to stop okay and it gives you 
health and MP recovery. Yeah, I know that's nice. Okay, but again, it is a random skill and 50% chance effect only 45 MP and 40% health, which is low. Oh, don't forget, it also give you defensive buff. But again, let me remind you that this is same like your normal, normal buff that you get at level 105. And yeah, one thing that make this skill worse is this is a cooldown skill. Can you imagine? Okay, you need to wait three turns to use this. Actually, this one available on first turn. But really, what if you get that 20% buff? Basically, this is useless, okay? This is simply slightly better version. Uh, slightly better version of your 105 buffs, okay? Nothing special. At level 110, he gets 50% magic from equipment, so definitely a nice thing. And at level 110 again, okay? He learns cooldown skill. It gives him... Yeah, KO. It will make him go suicide. And yeah, it fills your summoning gauge to full. So for info for you guys is all seven stars Final Fantasy Type 0 characters have this ability. So this means Queen Seven Stars also has this. I cannot say this is useless, okay? Because let's say you use summoner, then this ability may be useful, especially combined with Auto life and at level 115 he gets another 20% defense which is kind of random but the most robust thing is at level 120 he gets 40% magic and 20% health if you equip him with throwing weapon so like you know the throwing weapon is kind of rare on this game okay so basically this is say that this the, the developer said that you need to get his trust man STMR for him okay, to get this. Without his STMR, he only gets 120% magic. And I think that's kind of low because like physical attackers, on 7 stars, mages get 150 to 160% magic boost. So Ace is below average when he doesn't equip throwing weapon. So good luck finding one, okay? But definitely a nice thing if you manage to get his STMR. So I think that's all you need to know about Ace and Lunet. I think Lunet is not a troll. Ace is not a troll too, but I think his 7 stars abilities are not that usable. Basically, if you have 7 stars is you still want to use him for tri-beam tri laser it deals nice amount of damage 9.3 times with imperil but yeah maybe it is not the best chaining skill you can get out there okay but pretty good character for especially for lunet ace i think i can consider that ace is one of the 7 stars Troll, okay, but maybe I'm just wrong. Let's just wait until he come out on the global. Maybe Gumi will give him buff or something, okay? So, yep, thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy, Brave X Guide. Bye-bye, guys.